All right, so today's date, December the 3rd. Today's essential question is how can we determine structure of an atom? Oh, excuse me. How can we determine structure of an atom? Okay, I'm going to have to put it out right down here. Oh, okay. So today is December. I feel like I have to play like a character here. So today is December the 3rd. Let's make sure we write down our agenda. Our essential question is, how can structure of an atom determine its properties? So our objective is we're going to be able to differentiate between parts of an atom in terms of the charge and location along with attractive forces. So that's our, our key word for today. We're going to start off with a stump Mr. E question atom element structure discussion, and then we're going to do a element review station. So make sure we are writing down our agenda for today and then our key vocabulary word. Our key vocabulary, our key vocabulary word is attractive force. And who wants to volunteer and read out the definition for attractive <laughs> force? Who wants to volunteer to read attractive force? Thank you. Please. <laughs> So, tra okay. Attractive force strongly you or more elements are Okay, so I'll give you guys about 30 seconds. Go ahead and finish writing down your agenda and today's key vocabulary word. Once again, thank you, Robbie. Robbie said, attractive force is how strongly attracted two or more elements are to each other. And that goes in the key vocabulary. We're going to need this for today's activity. All right. So who needs more time? Can you wait like eight minutes? Okay. All right. So we're all done writing on the, the agenda and okay. So our key vocabulary word for today is attractive force. So it's how strongly attracted two or more elements are to each other. So an example that I used last week is, is this, right? So what is this? Do I know what this is, right? Okay. It's water. We drink it. We use it for, gosh, everything, right? So, what three or what two elements are made, are make up water? H2, hydrogen, oxygen. hydrogen, oxygen. All right. So you guys all wrote this down. You don't you don't need to write this down. I'm gonna just briefly review what we where we left off um, last week. All right. So um, Jonathan, can you tell the class how many valence electrons does oxygen have? Who can help them? How many valence electrons does oxygen have? One. Okay. How many valence electrons does oxygen have? Let's review this since we're just getting back from a week off. So, which group is oxygen in? Remember, it starts here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, which group is oxygen in? So therefore, how many valence electrons does it have? Six. Six. All right. So I am going to draw one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Which group is hydrogen in? One. One. So how many valence electrons does hydrogen have? One. So what this is telling us is how strongly attracted are two or more elements 
to each other. So, if hydrogen has one electron, let me rephrase this, they each have one valence electron, because they're in group one. So, do you think that this oxygen wants to have two more electrons over here to be happy? Right? So, what's going to happen is, this is how water is formed, so we're going to have these valence electrons. What they are going to do is they are going to connect there, and that's how water is made. You guys remember this stuff? Okay. So, we did this when you left off two weeks ago. Okay. So, this is what attractive forces. It's how strongly elements want to what? What's the word that we're using? Okay, attract, what else? Bond. Bond, okay? So attractive forces is how strongly attracted two or more elements to each other, to, um, which is also known as bonding, all right? So that is how elements bond. That is how elements bond, all right? So what I am going to do is I am going to give you guys eight minutes. What you guys are going to be doing right now is we're going to do stop Mr. E. You guys are going to come up with two questions with your partner. Why is it falling? So you guys are going to come up with two questions with your partners. And this is what you guys are doing. It says, with your partner, write two or more. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So with your partner, write two questions from the previous lesson using the word wall. So using our word wall, you guys are going to come up with two questions. And these are questions that may cover everything we've covered about elements and their structure. So for example, we can't use this question, but I'm going to come up with a question on my own. So I'm going to say there are a total of two valence electrons that can fit in the first electron shell. Or let me rephrase this. How many valence electrons can fit in the first electron shell? Does that make sense? So that's one question. You can't use that question. You can also ask me, what type of charge does a blank have? So right now, with your partner, I'm going to give you guys eight minutes. Go ahead and discuss and come up with two questions that you think are really, really hard that you want to ask me in regards to negative charge, positive charges, electrons, neutrons, orbitals, electron shell, protons, and valence electrons. Are there any questions? Does all I know what you guys are doing? Okay. So I'll give you guys eight minutes. If you finish early, we'll move on to the next thing. So eight minutes. Okay, yes, first. Okay, there you go. So right now, eight minutes. Go ahead and come up with two questions that you could ask me in regards to the word wall. If you're stuck, if you need help, let me know. I can help you guys. All you're doing is coming up with two questions that will stump me, meaning be challenging. And yes, we're, we're going to work together when Byron gets back, when he goes. All right, so all we're going to do is we're going to do this, and then we're going to do some stations. Then we're going to do a group discussion with discussion cards, and then we're going to be done. Okay, so to go by really quickly. So two questions.
Do you have any questions? Mm -hmm. So like a question would be, um, valence, or what do valence electrons tell us about an atom? Right, that's an, that's an example of a question. So questions that you would ask me in regards to, so how does a positive charge go from it? Okay, okay, good. So, you sure? Yeah. Sure. Positive. I'm hiding. I want to. You. All right. I'm going to take down some of this time. That's too much time. I'll give us two and a half minutes. Who needs more time? Most of us are done? All right. Maybe that was too much time. Are we doing this? Two questions, right? Yeah. All right. So right now, you guys all have finished. Stop Mr. E coming up with two questions using the word wall. All right. So who wants to share out one of their questions? Okay, go ahead, Brian. Thank you. Okay, so do your protons have a negative or positive charge? I said what caused it. Okay. What, I'll put it wrong, I'll put it wrong. Okay, so protons have what kind of charge? What can cause it to have a positive charge? Okay, that's a good question. So he's wondering what could cause a proton to have a negative charge, all right? Because protons have what kind of charge? Positive. Positive, okay, very good. Anybody else? Okay, why don't you, uh, you guys have any uh, questions? Come on, yes, yours. Opal? No. All right. Jose, Alexandria, you want to share a question? Go ahead. How does the positive charge go from its form to a negative? Charge? Okay, very good, awesome. So how does it, how do they change charge, okay? How do they change charge? All right, so what we are going to do now is you guys have your activity sheets for today. So the stop Mr. E coming up with two questions. That section is done. I'm going to mark it red. So now what we are going to do is this. We are going to be doing... Uh, I spelled it wrong. So now... We finished, stop Mr. E coming up with two questions with partners. Now we are going to do an atom and element stations atom review. So what you guys have is there is stations set up all throughout the classroom. We are going to, not, not yet, but we will in a minute get up and go from station to station. So there are a total of eight stations. And the purpose of doing this is to review atom structure and the properties that go with it. So as the atom structure changes, what's happening to the properties of it, all right? So if you look at your paper, it says station two, station three, station four, station five, station seven, and station eight, 10, and 12. So yes, there are some missing and there are some that we're gonna skip. Excuse me, there are some that we uh, aren't gonna do. So, we're going to pick a station. I'm going to give you guys about five minutes per station. What you guys are going to do is each station, only two people are allowed per station. All right? So, Philip, how many people are allowed per station? Two. Two? All right. Kayvon, how many people are allowed per station? Two. Thank you. Alexander, how many people are allowed per station? Two. two. So, the only challenging station is this station. This is station two. Station two is the Rutherford experiment. 
what we are going to do is there are three questions on here. What you guys need to do is you will play a video. As the video is playing, the video is only like three to four minutes long, three and a half minutes long. So what you guys are going to do is watch the video and as the video is playing, you guys are gonna answer the questions, all right? The key thing is make sure the station number matches which box you're doing because they are not in order. It is not two, four, seven, eight. They're not in order, all right? So if you come over here, this is station 12. I'm going to turn to the back page. Station 12 has two questions. Station 12 has two questions. All right, any questions? So let's go ahead and get up, pick a station, and then we'll do uh, one together, all right? So they're all different questions. So since you guys are right here, you guys can stay over here, but you guys need to pick a station. So this is a station, this is a station, that's a station, that's a station, those two are stations, those two are stations. So right now you guys are gonna get up and find a station to go to. So, I'm gonna give us about five minutes per station. <clears throat> I wouldn't say there's some that are easier than, they're all, they're all, this is just review. So there isn't one that's easier than another. So all you're gonna do is just pick a station. When did you say there was one? Was the video one? No, like is any of them? Yeah, any of them. So just pick a desk. So there's only two people allowed per station. All right. I don't want to see like a whole class in one station. So get up. Let's move. Thank you guys. Please. Oh. I thought it was oh, I thought it was only like two that were supposed to move. Okay. No, what because there's, there's no stations there. So, oh, okay. so you have to go, the stations are where these are at. So the stations are the ones that have the plastic um, questions asked. Do we take our folder with it? You take your folder and you take your worksheet. So over here, I'm going to talk for one minute. I'm going to put that on the board. So over here, we have uh, Kayvon and Robbie. What station are you guys working on? What station? So over here, they are working on station five. Station five. So what they are going to be doing is they're going to be looking at the diagram. It's either a diagram, a picture that you're looking at to answer the questions. All right. So after five minutes, they'll get up and they'll pick another station. And another group will pick this station and so forth. All right, are there any questions? So we want to make sure we're answering these as correctly as possible. You guys are with your partner. You can be a partner up with somebody. Um, so you guys now have five minutes per station. Any questions? Okay. So right now everyone's doing, and if you're done, you can go to another station. You can put your point, plug your earphones in, or you can put it louder. Yeah. So all you're doing right now is you're playing the video clip. And try, if you want to put the captions on, then try your best to answer the questions as they go. How do you turn that on? Like, I don't understand. Where is the screen? Okay. So you want to make sure you spin it. Okay, turn to it.
So remember guys, attractive force is how strongly attracted two or more elements are to each other. There are some that are questions that are asking you about attractive forces. Record the video. So if you don't know what uh, a word means, or if you're confused as to what to do, then feel free to ask. So it's asking you. Four, if a positive charge, which is the alpha particle, was sent towards the, nu the nucleus of the atom, atom, what would happen to the particle? It will go straight through it. Okay. Just just said. Yeah. So it's saying some would go straight through it. So this is, an, this is an example of an atom, and this is just a alpha particle. So it's heavier. So it would, it would be, it would go right through it. Yep. And it's because the nucleus has a positive or negative charge? Positive. Very good. So that's the next question. Anybody? Tark, can I go to the first station then? All right, guys. So, if you have not moved the station, most of you guys are doing pretty good. Um, I'm noticing that maybe I'm giving you guys too much time. So, if you have not moved from stations yet, let's move to a different station. Um, the longest station will probably be this station because of the video, but the rest are pretty easy. Easy to Pretty easy to do. So there's stations over. There's one, two, three, four. So, the hardest, the most challenging one is probably the video one, but, um, that one? Yeah. The plug pudding model of an app. There's two in there.
You have your paper? So all you're doing is you're picking a station. This is your paper, you can partner up with somebody. All you're doing is going from station, there's stations over here, stations over there, and you're just using it to answer your questions. So this is station 12. You wanna do this one? Station 12, use the information about attractive forces and then you would just use the, what our, def, our keyword was. Our keyword was how strongly attracted two more elements are to each other to answer those questions. You won't find it online. Just try your best. If that one's too hard, then go to a different one. So, once again, this should be all review. Say why is that sitting on their phone while everybody else doesn't work? You guys got it? No. Okay. So it's asking you this. So station two, the Rutherford experiment. Watch the video to answer questions. She not getting to the point. I think I'll probably skip the point. There we go. Let's start slider. How do you go over here? It's a question asking you. You got it? Station seven. So what is the outermost electron shell called? So those are all different shells. Take a look over here. So we have, what is the rule for the way electrons fill the energy levels? So in the first shell, how many electrons can fit in there? Second shell? One, two, three, four, five. It should be eight. It is six. It should be eight. Why did he choose a um, you're not. Well, really a really good. thin gold foil was estimated to yeah. contain approximately 1,000 atoms. Alright, so, so you're going to count the number of electrons. So this, what is the outer, the, what is the outer most electrons called? So when they're electrons in the outer shell, what are they called? So when the electrons are on the outer shell, what are they called? Look at the, look at the word wall. Which word stands out? Looks familiar. Okay, so the electrons on the outermost shell are called what? Very good. B A L E N C E. So if you're struggling with the correct answers, looking at the word wall, OK. 
Okay, so switch up. So the hardest one is, is one on this one. Oh, you guys work together. And you guys work together. Because you guys are working on this one, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, you guys need the question sheet, though. Yeah, okay, that's going to be a problem. I mean, we can split it. All right. So you guys can play. You guys are going to watch this video to answer these three questions. So what is the atomic number of this atom? 11. No, that's this one. Okay. It's not second guess for ourselves. You know it. So what is the atomic number of this atom? This one. Right. Okay, you're second guessing yourself. What was your first response? This one. Okay. So that's the atomic that's the atomic number? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so just write down 11. 11. So if the atomic number is 11, how many protons does it have? No? Yeah. So if the atomic number is 11, that must mean it has how many protons? Can you ask Jonathan? Jonathan, if the atomic number is 11, how many protons does it have? So if the atomic number is 11 for an element, how many protons does it have? Yeah. Okay, very good. Yeah, I right, is your writer's wrong? Okay. So it's the same thing? Yeah. So if it has 11 protons, that means it has how many neutrons? That's the electrons, right? The electrons driven. Okay, that is going to be the atomic mass. So has that, that's not going to help right now. Oh, yeah. yeah. So if it's got 11 protons, then it has to have how many neutrons and electrons? One. 11. Yeah. 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 What about 14? 14. 14 is how many neutrons does it have? Very good. Why is it all 11? No, that's the way. That's, that's what we, we learned it. Who did this one? I somebody started this one. Let's go number two. All right. How many of us are done with all the stations? Is it still working? Is it, is it all done? So I'll give us about eight minutes and then we'll call it quits. I'll actually give you guys five minutes. So in about five minutes, we're going to get back into our groups. So those of you guys that are not done with uh, the stations, then um, we're going to get back into our groups and
All right, so in three minutes, we're going to... What was that? What's the question asking? So, protons have what kind of charge? Okay. So then, the what are neutrons? Okay. So. Then, how many protons? Protons, protons, protons are neither. Protons are inside or outside? Uh, inside. So protons are going to be inside. Okay. Then what's on the outside? Electrons. Very good. So it's one proton. One of it's just what it's asking you right now is what is the role for the way electrons fill the energy use levels? I so skip that one because I didn't know it. <laughs> okay. So well, how many how many electrons can fit in the first shell? Two. So you put first shell two. All right, we're going to have to move on because I want to do one last thing. Actually, know what? We'll be fine. So two more minutes and then we're going to get back into our group. You guys are done? You guys are done? So the outer is, so the second. Okay. Yep. So what do the electrons call in the outer shell? So get the word wall. So what do those electrons call in the outer shell? Very good. Okay. So that's number. Wait, okay, for 22, how many protons does the element have? That's the one. So if there, remember how there's 11 protons over there? So there, for how many electrons were there? So I'm out. So if there's however many electrons there are there, that would be the number of protons. Oh, it's the same as the other one? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I can have all that All right, so what we're doing now is let's go ahead and if you're not done, that's fine. We are going to get back into our groups. I need one more station though. That's fine, you'll get I need two more stations. Imaginary points. <laughs> I'll tell Mr. Jenna gave you full credit for today. For Mr. Vasquez. Who else is here that C2? All right. So if you are not done, can you hold it? Okay, thank you. It's almost out of here. I want to get to this. So, how many of us did not finish all the eight stations? Let's raise our hands. All right. Was it just because of the difficulty of the question, or it's not enough time? I mean, I didn't. I just was going slow. Was the difficulty? Was the difficulty of question? Raise your hand. Time, raise your hand. All right. So um, we'll go back to the ones we didn't do at the end of class. What we're doing now is this. We're going to do an atom element station group discussion. So what we are going to be doing is we are going to be using our discussion cards. We are going to be using our discussion cards to have a group discussion on what we learned today and what we did. All right? So, let me pass them out. Charlie, this is your favorite thing to do. Your. All right. So. I am working with my group. I'm going to be working with Jonathan. Who's in there? Uh, Moses. 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 All right. So what I am going to do is I am going to be using my discussion cards to answer the last three sections of today. So using your discussion cards, 
discuss with your group what we already knew, understood, and learned from today's activity. So what you guys are going to be doing right now is getting what color card? Who can have it? What color card do we need right now? Uh, purple. Okay, we're using purple diamond, but what color card are we going to be using? All right, so let's pick out the cards, and we are going to be presenting an idea. Robbie is saying we are going to be using blue. Let's see if she is right. What color card is present an idea? Yellow. Yellow. So, right now we are all going to be presenting an idea based off of what we did in today's station. Today's stations. All right, so I have my present an idea. What I am going to do is I'm going to talk with my group. Uh, I only made two responses, so uh, one person can just, um, one person doesn't have to talk. All right, you guys can take turns. All right, so present an idea. What I am going to do, if I'm working over here with Philip, Oscar, and um, Jonathan. Actually, let me say I'm working over here. So I'm working um, with this group. What I'm going to do is I'm going to present an idea. My idea is I'm using not a yellow square, I'm sorry, not a yellow circle, not a blue square, not a purple diamond. What I am going to be doing is I am going to be using, let me rephrase this. I'm going to need to take a deep breath. Let me rephrase this again. What we are going to be doing is using the yellow cards, presenting an idea. We are not using the yellow circles. We are not using the blue squares. We are using what? Diamond. Purple diamond. The purple diamond. All right? Of course. Go ahead, sir. Mr. Espinoza. Okay. Uh, you guys see Ms. Martinez? All right. So, I'm going to phrase this again. So what we are going to be doing is we're going to be using our yellow cards, present an idea. We are not using the yellow circles, blue squares. We are using the what? Purple diamonds. So if I am working with this group over here, I am going to say one thing or something to consider is, it occurred to me that one thing or something that caught my attention was, or I was struck or surprised by, I'm going to pick one of those four, I'm going to say it out loud, and we're going to have a discussion on that. All right, any questions? So for example, I am working over here. As I am talking, they are going to be writing. So my discussion, my, my, my idea is one thing to consider is that the center of an atom is positive based off of the what? Who remembers the name of the experiment? What was the name of the experiment? Kiara, can you tell them? Which experiment? Over there. It was... Starts with an R. Um, Rutherford's experiment. Rutherford experiment. So, one thing to consider is the atom, the center of the atom has a positive charge based off of the Rutherford experiment. So I'm going to write, my grips and write that down. All right. So I'm going to give you guys about six minutes. What I want you guys to do is each person present an idea in their groups. Any questions? Okay, guys, go ahead. Get started. So we're here, we write our name? Yeah. Oh, your partner's name. What's your name? So we've done this before. So we've done this before. This is what we did um, before we left. All you guys are doing is presenting an idea. So do you have your yellow cards? Okay, so how do we to, to present the idea? How do, how do we start off? I think you should start off. In my opinion, you, the diamond one, you, in my yes, opinion, you should start off. I noticed that you're very quiet, so you should start. So it has to be about the actual activity. I know that. And you guys actually have to be discussing. You guys actually have to be talking out loud. So this is the most important thing um, 
for today's lesson, so let's make sure we are presenting an idea. There's plenty of yellow cards, so. One thing, something to consider is. Hmm? So, I have my yellow card. I'm going to present my idea. We present it? So they're going to work together, you two can work together. Like where did okay. present an idea or build an idea? Build an idea. So, present an idea. One thing, or it occurred to me that, what's one thing that you learn after doing this activity? Uh, With the stations, what's one thing that you learn? Let me just take a Okay, so you're going to use these sentence frames. So it occurred to me that, and then you can put down the rest. So my example was it occurred to me that the center of an atom has a positive charge based off the Rutherford experiment. So that's my, and then my partner would write it down. So I write down my partner's name. My partner's name is Byron. His response is that. Your, your partner's name is Robbie. Her response was. Okay. You guys get what you guys are doing? So, this is the most important thing because I need to make sure you guys are discussing. So, discussing. Discuss. What did we discuss about the which one? Does it matter anyone? Any so any station. So about what did you do today? What did you learn today? Mm. So present an idea. So it's your paper. So part of response. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna say one thing to consider is valence electrons or the electrons on the outer shell. He's gonna write that down. Did you hear what he said? Mm -mm. Go ahead and say it. You said the balance electrons and... So you have to say that sentence frame. So one, one say, thing, say that one thing to consider is that the, you said the balance electrons is the... Are the electrons where? The electrons on the outside? Very good. Outside what? Of the... Um, one thing to consider What do turtles have? Is the show. The show. So, so, so you have write down what he said. And then now you're going to do yours when you're done writing. So the one thing to consider is the balance electrons. The balance electrons. So who needs more time to present an idea? We're out of here in 10 minutes, 9 minutes. We'll survive. We'll survive. All right. All right. So what we are going to do now is I'm going to give us five minutes. What you guys are going to do now is what? What's the next one say? First, we're presenting an idea. Now we're going to what? Pose a question. Posing a question is what color? Blue. I am going to get a blue card for pose a question. And I am going to ask my partner a question about their presenting an idea. So my partner told me an idea. My partner gave me an idea about what they learned. What I am going to do is now I'm going to question that. So, I am going to, I'm not going to use the yellow circles or blue squares. I'm going to be using the purple diamonds. So, how does blank relate to blank? How did you determine or solve blank? What is meant by or what is the purpose of or what is the reason for? So, for example, if your idea was, something to do with valence electrons, something to do with protons or neutrons, what I could do is, what did you mean or what is meant by 
or what is the purpose of a valence electron, or what is the purpose of the Rutherford experiment. So what you need to do is come up with a question for mm -hmm. your partner, and as you, and then you write down the um, response. All right. Any questions? Do positive. Oh, wait. Yes, John posed a question. Do you think positive charges grow more? Okay. Then you write down his question. No. That's something to think about. You're gonna have to answer that. What did you say? Do you what? Do you think the positive charges keep growing more and more? So it grows more. Yeah. You guys got it over here? Yeah. Where are you going to? Use the diamond one? Yeah. The diamond one? I over here. Probably you Byron. The, the yellow? Mm -hmm. Those are good. Oh, use yeah. the blue one. Surprising new question. Why did you use the yellow? So you're going to ask a question you based off of the what their idea was. Are you going to ask a question on Yeah, so purple diamond. So we're using the blue cards. So what was your idea about? My idea is about the nucleus. Okay, so nucleus has a positive charge. So what is meant by, or what is the purpose of, or what is the reason for? So you can ask her, what is the purpose of having a positive nucleus? Okay. And so, so that's what you're asking her, and then you can write down the question. What is the purpose of a positive nucleus? All right. So what's your question? So all I want you guys to do is question the person. They don't have to know the answer. Just I want you guys to question each other. And we'll talk about... It's hard if you don't know the answer. Well, um... What's your question? How? Oh, hold on, I'm still trying to think of it. How are you guys doing over here? You guys bored? Tired? Huh? Second foot. Okay. Build an idea? Well, I guess you're doing good. Uh, how? Perfect. Doesn't help with the last one? Yeah. How did you determine to solve? So building an idea. How did you work? Cards. How did you did you so, so build an idea, purple diamond. Based on your idea, I think so his idea was I was supposed surprised. surprised that chlorine had a greater Okay. Okay. So you can say Based on your idea, I think you're correct, or I don't think you're correct. But this was his. This was his. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What did you say? No, no, tell me. I said there. No, you can't use that question. You gotta use a different one. I mixed it up. How do you determine? determine Alright, so if you are done with the hey, blue cards, know. we're moving on to the last one, different. which was what is the last question? What is the last card? Build upon an idea, and that is the what color card? Oh. The last card is purple. Build upon an idea. So based off their idea, for example, um, Opal and Kayvon were talking about how sodium has a higher um, uh, attractive force. So she had said, based on your idea, I believe you're correct. Or based on your idea, I, I believe you're not correct. That's an example. So you want to give them feedback on their idea. So we want to build upon their yeah. idea. Writing like, uh, like how does it So. 
If we already know protons are positive, we can infer that neutrons are neutral. Okay, that works. And that was what she said? Okay. Read the which one? The diamond one? Yeah, purple diamond.